Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you are following us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Give us a five-star rating. It massively helps us out. Enjoy. We got Joe on for a special reason, and that was obviously to talk about Manchester United. Mm. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you saying it like that? <laughs> well, it's just like never-ending spiral. Oh, no. moment, what, what is it with United? It's signings, anything. It just takes fucking forever, doesn't it? Because they're yeah. the biggest club <laughs> in the world. <laughs> although, yeah. although uh, United fans were immediately on the fact that the Qataris uh, created a company house. New, new company. As if that isn't just totally standard protocol for anybody. <laughs> yeah. No, no, but I mean, like, that was they, they, they created that on t- like ten thirty three am, ten thirty four. It's all over United. How do they even know? No, that. That's what I don't get. I don't <laughs> get how people like. How people do they are know that? People are mental. Mental. But yeah, I probably was sent to somebody in the media. But like, so what is the deal with United? Where where is it at, at the moment? It's the slowest process in human history. Is where it's at. Uh, I think basically Qatar have kind of nudged in front with their I love how bid. you just say Qatar. <laughs> well, but, um, yeah, Sheikh Jassim. Sheikh Jassim. Let's so, just call a spider spade. It's the country. Sheikh yeah. Jassim has yeah. nudged in front, I think, <laughs> with his most recent bid. Um, but Ratcliffe seems like he's also very confident. To be honest with you, the Glazers are just going feels like just leaking news out and yeah. just going, he's in front. You're going to be a bit more? Yeah, you're going to yeah, be a bit yeah, more? Yeah, you're going to yeah, be a bit yeah. more? Like, we're like six months in now. It's the most boring process known to man. Are they even going to Are they even going to sell the full stake? Well, I think if Jasim takes over, he's taking 100%. Okay. So like yeah. he'll buy out, obviously the Glazers only own 69% of the club. So yeah. he'll buy out their 69% <laughs> and then, <laughs> yeah. and then yeah, squeeze yeah. out the rest basically because they'll be, in, as minority shareholders, with no voting power, they'll, they'll, they'll be part of a squeeze out and he'll take full 100% control. Ratcliffe is proposing, or according to reports, proposing to buy 51% or above, somewhere between 51 and 69, leave the Glazers with... 10%, let's say. We yeah. don't know exactly what that percentage is. 10%, 5%. And then eventually, over time, over like a three to five year period, say, I'll buy the next 5%, then I'll buy the next 5%, then I'll buy the next 5%, which obviously has got a lot of United fans backs up because it kind of leaves... Yeah, but didn't they say... Um, of the Glazers. With that deal, the Glazers still have like this voting power or something that... Yeah, so effectively, there are, there's a couple of different problems with, with the Ratcliffe kind of idea... On the surface, like you say, people will point to the fact that the Glazers own a lot of Class B shares, That's it, which yeah. are voting like 10 times the voting power of a Class A share. So you effectively can't, if you are an owner of a Class A share, you're never going to be able to vote out a Class B share owner. But if he came in, to take, the 50, if he came in to take the 51%, <laughs> Let's have it absolutely right. If he came in to take the 51%, there's absolutely no way that structure would remain in place. Like, that structure as part of the d- negotiating process would have to change. Yeah. Like, the, their voting rights, there's no way he comes in, pays 5 billion for 51% yeah. and goes, <laughs> ah, do you know what? You can still you control. Can so I'm confused yeah. you why... You don't buy the train set not to be able to... So yeah, Class B train, shares but. are more valuable than Class A. Yeah, I don't get that. That doesn't yeah. make sense. Surely you would thought yeah. Class A's are more valuable. Nah, it's something to do with the they families. Are. So basically, the way it was when when they created this class b class a share system the the class b <laughs> shares are exclusively for glazer family so you have to <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, they just, so they, they just, just made their up. own share yeah, yeah they but the, because they were 100 percent owners of the club sounds like they're wearing a big short when they basically bought everybody <laughs> yeah, out literally. they <laughs> were in when they floated it they could create class a class b shares effectively sounds so like they have maintained the housing power. market <laughs> it does sound it's like they're making shares up yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. how no, they're, they're not making shares up because they were owners of the shares they just created these class A's so we're no, the no, they didn't just create <laughs> <laughs> we're the Glaze family growing, we're only, only Glaze yeah. they, they can, can do, what they, can do, they class can do what they wanted with the club when they had 100% of it <laughs> that is mental so when they floated it again that's how they did it so how can you how can you just say yeah only someone with the surname Glazer can have a class A because they own the club. Cla- you no, know, Class A is what they already had. The Class B is what they got given. Or they're made up for. Man, this is so weird. The yeah. They can freaks. split their sh- share structure down however they want when they're 100% owned. Okay. Uh, as a United fan, though, which one would you prefer in this situation? I don't know. I really don't know. What do you care about more? <laughs> I, I have quite strong views on this. Do you care do you? about Go on. Oh, money? Oh. Or do you care about someone who's coming in and loving the think club, that, man? I hate the idea of Manchester United being state-owned. I think it's but, disgusting. Do you? Yeah, I think just as football, I think, okay, football Newcastle City, okay, yeah. Chelsea, whatever, but like Liverpool, United, Arsenal, I think yeah, don't. should lead. United don't need to be state-owned. 
Please have another. They've it's proven a, that in the last ten years. You've had no the, the glazers. All they do is take money out, and you're still the biggest spenders, biggest shirt sales. Blah. blah. You don't need yeah. billions and billions from and to be state owned under. Do, let's be honest, dodgy uh, conditions. I just think. I don't know. I think it's a shame. I think it would be a shame if Manchester United, uh, United yeah. have to go that way. There is a, like a conception amongst Manchester United fans. It would be like Real Madrid doing it. It'd be like what? Yeah. Why, why? There is a conception about Man United fans, isn't there? That it's like you, like United need. It's like, like it's like yeah, you're selling yeah, yeah, out yeah. when you don't need to sell out. It, I think. I think the issue for a lot of United fans, just to play devil's advocate, it's not just to I get rid of guys. Is, yeah, yeah. Is I like understand the that. Suck such have caused such problems within the club, not only monetarily, you know, taking out 30 million of dividends a year yeah. and, and the interest payments on the debt they loaded onto the club in the first place, which is the biggest, probably the biggest problem amongst Manchester United fans, that leverage buyout in the first place. But the, they also have let things like stadium just like oh, yeah, fall right, apart, yeah, trading yeah, ground yeah. fall apart. So like the lack of investment in infrastructure is a, is a major problem. And it's easy to say, you know, you don't need that investment. But if the Glazers aren't going to invest it, then the club is just like... He's but just it's, kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. it's the lesser of two evils now, but it, it's the start of like a horrible era for football though, no? If, if big clubs are just going but to be... But then also, I think it would be a really also, defining moment, wouldn't it? Also, yeah. I think, then I think, well, who else could afford that money? No one. Do you know what, do, do you know what I think... A, 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 a nice Manchester businessman doesn't have an a well, fucking thing, spare six, uh, six billion. Yeah. Yeah. If, if, if Ratcliffe <laughs> owned Manchester yeah. United, I feel like some United fans would be like, oh, but we just couldn't compete with the spending of the other clubs. But you lot have outspent everyone in the last 10 years, so... Yeah, oh, transfer-wise. You know what I mean? Transfer-wise, but you, what you'd like people don't take into account is that, like... Prior to like Glazer takeover, you're not at zero pounds worth of debt. So like yeah. behind the scenes, like things like transfers might be spend wise comparable, but like footballing infrastructure yeah. and people in positions of power have just been a like a disaster effectively. So yes, they've spent a lot on transfers, and like that's the point everybody goes to in it. A billion on transfers, blah, blah, blah. but there's more as a it, footballing yeah. entity, it's like just slowly like just to, like so getting depleted so like yeah. Spurs have spent more in the last 10 years than United technically when you're yeah. back in the stadium do you think yeah. do you think they'll ever and that's be not to moan that United don't spend money no they have no spent no money yeah, but you are right like you have been you are Manchester United you shouldn't be having like old money traffic problems. falling yeah, apart the club do you think they'll ever the Premier League will ever introduce a spending cap no 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 Never. way not now with the Saudis as well you're having a laugh at in fact you look at I think was it last was it in December maybe December November I think that they changed financial regulations in the Premier League comparatively to UEFA didn't they because UEFA you can only spend as part of FFP 75% of your income whereas the Premier League said okay Premier League clubs you can dash that you can spend yeah. in excess of your 75% so like smaller teams can spend in excess of their 75% of their revenue Bigger teams can as well, but they will like get hit. That you would then get hit if you were playing in UEFA competition. Also, uh, yeah, I don't yeah. uh, a spend cap on what wages. Don't know, just because I think that then it becomes why shouldn't the players get the bulk of the money? No, it's just more it of the fact, like when, when, when will it stop? Yeah, yeah. Uh, how it, look how it's working now? I, now I don't look know. Look how that's worked for La Liga though. It's been a disaster yeah. for La Liga, hasn't it? That spend cap, or at least it's been a disaster for the major clubs in La Liga. Other than Madrid, Barcelona, yeah. Who, yeah, we're all starting to play to them. Well, they do. Bar <laughs> Barcelona have been, you say that, Barcelona have been absolutely hammered now. Oh, sorry, I thought, you meant, I thought you meant the, like, the TV money. No, the TV money, yeah. They the, get the, the bulk split, of that yeah, they get the bulk they, yeah. of that. But in terms of La Liga's salary cap, like regulations, they're much more stringent than the Premier League. Oh, uh, okay. And yeah. you look at what effect that's had on Barcelona mm. in recent times, like how it ended with Lionel Messi, some mm -hmm. of the players that they've not been able to sign, some, some, of, the issues they have had, some of the issues they've had behind the scenes with you know, Frankie De Jong, Busquets, PK Evans, yeah. constant deference of wages. Like, I think Spain cap, you have, it has to be really cleverly done. Mm -hmm. Like, if, if it was ever to happen, I don't think it ever will, but it's very, very difficult to enact. I mean, the, the player, player prices are just going to be crazy. It, where well, did we, it all start? It started with Neymar. But that's what I mean. Like, do you remember when drop Coutinho eventually. was... I don't think they will. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I when don't know when, I don't think it did start with Neymar. I think it, Neymar's a bit of an anomaly. I think, I don't know. But, <sighs> like I, actually, I, I always refer, I know obviously it's different times and what. I think the first one I remember is Torres. The I was about to say one. to Chelsea, 50 yeah. million. That was, was when I think I remember going, Jesus, 50 mil. Because yeah. I think before that it was like 30, 30 and it, you nearly know, double. Henri in, went to Barcelona for like 17 million. Yeah. Do you know how yeah, crazy that is? Looking like back, one year left though. Yeah, I know, but do you know how mental that is? I know, but in today's money, that's probably 80, 90 mil. Yeah, more, I reckon. Yeah, yeah it's more. more money. It's just crazy, now, isn't it? Like what's happened to football right now? 
So like I saw on the other day, like when Veron went to Chelsea, not Man United. I think it was like 25 mil. In today's money, that's like 140 mil. Like the Figo, the Figo. What about you guys as rival fans? Who do you think? Who do you want? Do you want... Are you worried about Qatar taking over United? Well, yeah. I, I just feel like you've already got yeah, very so much, much money and stuff. It'd just be like, oh, another one. Like, but then, how, 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 do, how does everyone else compete? That's what, like, we've got Newcastle. I mean, Chelsea to a degree. I mean, he's, he's quite rich, but he's not state-owned. Um, City. Well, we're, we're, we're finally... And then United. Like, we're fighting for fourth or fifth well this season, season we've finally moment. seen the Premier League really diversify in terms of who's finishing where and like who's, who can challenge what you look at obviously Newcastle but look mm. at what Brighton have done what Brentford have done yeah. Villa even yeah, but that's and I feel like if, if, but if another team comes in with super billionaires and in four years time you just it's just the, the, the competition between places is going to be yeah. so minimal well, it's a breakaway super league within a league itself really. yeah. yeah that's the problem Mm. I think that I think it would be a big big stick in the mud if United got taken over by State because like you say it's like one thing City or Newcastle not they're small teams but comparatively to United like, it's like Real Madrid being taken over yeah. by like yeah. the Saudis and you'd be like well, bloody hell like, well, just, yeah. and then it sets the precedent that every team because not yeah, only they've got the money that, they've got the money and the reputation if Man, if Man United need to be State owned everyone needs to be exactly. State owned there's yeah. no point yeah, they, it, but United don't need to be that. Yeah, United do not saying. need to be State owned they don't need to be State owned well, well look I don't know what the alternative is. Yeah. 